Okay, so let's have a look at the Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 1 for 2022. And this is question 8. So we have this Ferris wheel here, and uh, we have a point A here on the Ferris wheel, which is 12 metres above the ground. The diameter is 120 metres. So they give you this information in the question here. A Ferris wheel has diameter 120 metres. When it is turning, it completes exactly 10 full rot rotations in one hour. The diagram above shows the Ferris wheel before it starts to turn. At this stage, the point A is at its lowest point on the circumference of the wheel, and it is at a height of 12 metres above the ground, which we can see here. The height h of the point A after the wheel has been turning for t minutes is given by h of t is equal to 72 minus 60 cos pi over 3 t. h is in metres, t is real, and pi over 3 t is in radians. So we're dealing in radians here, so just make sure if you're using your calculator, Make sure it's in radian mode. Complete the table below to find each of those values. One of them has been done for us here. So all we've got to do is put 0 in here instead of t, put 1 in, which is done, put 2 in instead of t, and so on, and work out each of these. So you can do these on your calculator, uh, no problem. But if you put 0 in here anyway, you get the cost of 0, which is 1. 1 times 60 is 60, so 72 minus 60. Is all we've got to do first. So let me just put that in here. 72 minus 60. 72 minus 60 is 12. Okay, next one then is 2. So you got 2 pi over 3. So again, these are kind of special angles. They're on page 13 of your maths table, so you should be able to work them out from there. What you should get when you work this one out is 102. The next one is 132. Then you get 102 again. Remember, this is a cosine function, so it's going to go, it's going to go up and down, up and down. Periodic function number five here should be bring us back to 42 again. Then we go back down to 12, back up to 42, and up to 102 again. After that, we've just got to plot these on this diagram here. So we're starting with zero, and that was 12. So that's uh, roughly here. 12 should be somewhere around here. Next one is 42, so that should be somewhere around here. 102 is next for two minutes, so 102 is here. 132 is next for three, so that should be here. And we're going back down to 102 again. 42. Uh, 12, 42, and back up to 102 again. So you can see it's one of these periodic type functions. Okay, so there's our cost function for this particular story. Now, I think that's all we had to do. Complete the table below. The value of H1 is already done. Draw the graph, so we've done that. Find the period and the range of the function. Okay, so let's do that. So we can see that our function, our function is uh, given by H of T and it's equal to 72 minus 60 cosine pi over 3 times t. Now you can probably spot the period and the range here anyway but um, you know from the graph and also you can see here from the story that we've got 10 full rotations in one hour so it's going to be six minutes. That's uh, one rotation in six minutes. So that would be our the, the period here for this function. So let's just do that the other way. If we want to do the period of a function, normally what you do is you would take 2 pi and you would divide it by the coefficient of 
this here, this variable here. So we want to divide by pi over 3, which is equal to uh, 2 pi times, sorry, 2 pi multiplied by 3 over pi. So the pi is cancelled and you get 6. So that's that's it. So that's our that's the period. So the range then the range is just going to be equal to the lowest up to the highest if you like. So the lowest is 12 and then we're going up to 132. So it goes from 12 up to 132. So that's our range. So the range here goes from 12 up to uh, 132. That's it, that's our period and range. Now the next one, uh, during a 50 minute period, what is the greatest number of minutes for which a, the point A could be higher than 42 meters? Now, this one did take a little bit of thinking about. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of time on this. I'm just gonna have, a look at where we can start uh, the watch if you like. So if we start if we start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 after that we're just back to where we started again uh, the number of minutes then uh, where we're going to be greater than 42 minutes or meters I should say. So this is the function here that I've drawn on GeoGebra here now you can see here that um, starts here at 12 I think it was goes up here and down and so on goes out to 50 I haven't got the full graph there I've also put in the line here y is equal to 42 so anything above the red line here is um, obviously greater height the, the point A will be greater than height of 42 now if we start at 0 here for example if we start a stopwatch here uh, we can go up, down, we finish here. So this would be one period here out to six minutes. Now during that uh, period of six minutes we have one, two, three, four minutes where the height is above 42. Now if you think about a uh, period, uh, period of six minutes, that divides into 58 times to give you 48 minutes. So you'll have eight of these fours eight of these fours, which is 32, plus another two minutes. Now, if this was 50 down here, or sorry, uh, I should say 48 out to here, another two minutes then to bring us up to 50 would be one, one minute here, but that's below 42, and two, that'll bring us up to 50 here. So that's only one more minute then where we will be above 42. So in other words, that's 32 minutes, four eights 32, plus one is 33. So if we start at zero here, we will um, there will be 33 minutes where A will be above 42 meters. For zero here, we'll be looking at 33 minutes. If we start at one then, if we start at one, for example, here, that means we'll go up, down, and back to here again. This We're at seven minutes here and one minute here. That's a period of six minutes. So how many minutes are we above 42? Well, one, two, three, four. Then we're below for two minutes. Now again, if this was um, six, eight, 48, another two minutes here, but these two minutes are above 42 this time. Both minutes are above 42. So we'll have four eights, which is 32, plus another two minutes. So that's 34 minutes in total. So if we start at one minute, that's 34 minutes. It's actually going to be, if you do the same thing, you'll find that it's 34 for two, 34 for three. If you start at four minutes, you'll find that it's 33. If you start at five minutes, it'll be 32. And if you start at six minutes, it will be 33 again. So really the maximum uh, number of minutes the, greater, the greatest number of minutes for which the point A could be higher than 42 is 34 minutes. So our answer here is 34 minutes. Now there's probably an algebraic way of doing that as well. I haven't really thought about it too much, but from that point of view, um, just use the graph. I think that's, that should be okay.
Okay, so let's have a look at part E here. Uh, by solving the following equation, find the second time the value of t that the point A is at a height of 110 meters from its after it starts turning. Um, this is our function here, so that's equal to 110. Give your answer in minutes, correct to two decimal places. So the second time we want the second time that the point A is at a height of 110 meters. So if we look at our graph here, 110 meters is here. So if we kind of go across here, 110, go across here, we can see that we're looking at two, two points something here. That's the first time that it's about that it's at 110. The second time will be somewhere around here, which looks like it's about 3.8, 3.9, if I've drawn my graph properly. Uh, so let's see what we what we actually get when we do this. So what we've got to do, it says by solving, so we've got to solve this. So we have 72 minus 60 cos pi over 3t is equal to 110. Okay, so let's just bring the uh, 72 over. That gives us minus 60 cos pi over 3t is equal to uh, 38. And then all we've got to do is divide by 60. We've got cos pi over 3t is equal to 38 divided by minus 60 is, when you simplify it, you get minus 19 over 30. Minus 19 over 30. So what we've got to do now is just look at our, uh, our Gan diagram here. Uh, cos is going to be negative out here. Oops, let me do that properly. So it's going to be that angle there, and AST, so it's also going to be down here somewhere, so we're going to be looking at this angle down here as well. So those two angles. Okay, so let's just take our, find our reference angle first. So our reference angle is this angle here, alpha, and alpha here. What we need to do here is find alpha is going to be equal to, well, let's actually, Look at pi over 3t is going to be equal to cos inverse 19 over 30. And when you do that, you get 0 0.88, 0 0.884943. And so it goes on forever. Now, this is pi over 3t. But that, that will give us uh, this angle here, this, this reference angle here. So what we've actually found here is alpha. So this is, this is alpha. So what we need to do is find this angle here. So what we do is take um, pi. We're going to take pi, which is here. And we're just going to subtract 0 0.884943. And we're also going to take uh, this angle here, pi, and we're going to add alpha to give us this, this angle down here. So it's going to be pi plus 0 0.884943. So if we do those two, what we get is if we subtract, first of all, uh, we'll get pi over 3 t is going to be equal to 2.256649 and so on. If we add it, we get pi over 3t is going to be equal to uh, 4.026535 uh, and so on. So just to work out t then are two t's. So you've got to multiply by 3 and divide by pi. So if we multiply by 3 and divide by pi, on the left hand side here we get 2.15, that's the two decimal places. And over here, if we do the same thing, we get t is equal to 3.85. And that again is to two decimal places. And this is time, so it's in minutes. This is the actual answer that they were looking for. They weren't looking for the first one. Remember when we looked up here, we said that the first the first time was just over two, and that's what we found, just over two point. It was a 2.15 and the second one then we got 3.85 and that's what it looks like on our graph as well. So our second answer is what they actually were looking for. So then our answer 
is t is equal to 3.85 minutes. I think that's what they were looking for there. Uh, by solving for them, find the second time that the point A is at a height 110. So we've done that. Okay, so let's have a look at um, a bit of integration then. So use integration to find the average value. So this is an average value type question. So we, we want to find uh, the average value um, of the height of the point A over the first eight minutes that the wheel is turning. Give your answer correct one decimal place. So we want one over uh, eight minus zero. We want the integral from zero to eight of our function, 72 minus 60 cosine of pi over 3t. Okay, so we want 1 over 8 times. So we've got to integrate this. So the, we integrate 72, we get 72t as our variable, so it's going to be t here, minus. Now, if you integrate cos, you get sine, so it's going to be 60 times sine pi over 3t. But if you think about it, if you differentiate this, you won't get cos pi over 3t. You'll get cos pi over 3t times pi over 3. So you've got to get rid of that second pi over 3. And how do you do that? You divide by pi over 3. So you've got to take divide by pi over 3 or multiply by 3 over pi, if you like. So we can put in multiply by 3 over pi here. And we want to integrate from 0 to 8. OK, so let's do that. Um, so we have 1 8. Now it's handy that there's a 0 here, I think, because the sine of 0 is 0. OK, so we're going to end up putting a 0 in here and a 0 in here. So the sine of 0 is 0. So all of this will become 0, and 0 times 72 will become 0, so that's handy. So all we have to really worry about is the 8 here. So let's do that. So it's going to be 72 times 8 minus three sixes 180 over pi sine pi over three times eight and that's that's all we've got to do so really that's all kind of calculator work at this stage uh, so what you get when you do that is 65.8 and this is meters because this is the average height that we're talking about here and it's to one decimal place. Use integration to find the average height. So this is height in meters. Okay, so that's it for this particular question.